Hello ladies, I am Suchi and welcome to Pink April Diary, a style channel dedicated to making it easier for you to get dressed and look stylish every day even if you have a busy lifestyle. In today's going out outfits video, I'm sharing some easy to put together, casual yet chic date night outfit ideas. Now the idea behind this lookbook is to create looks that you can take from daytime to nighttime or you can also wear these looks for your daytime dining out events. And all of the items that I'm using are really versatile. You can also wear it, mix and match and wear it with other pieces in your everyday looks. Now without further chattering, let's get into the video. Since it's more of a day to nighttime look for my makeup, I'm keeping it very minimal with just a winged eyeliner and something that I can actually touch up later in the day. I'm not big on red lipsticks, but you can totally swap your regular lipstick with red lipsticks to add a nighttime look. In terms of jewelry, I'm using chunkier jewelry like long pendant earrings and hoop earrings and a chunkier necklace to add more to the date night look. For nighttime looks, I prefer heeled footwear because they add more of a style statement to your outfit and they also elevate your look. For my handbags, I'm actually going for just regular handbags. I am mix and matching like colors, but I'm definitely gravitating more towards black. For my first date night look, I'm going for more casual vibes. I'm wearing this black deep round neck bodysuit from Loft. I prefer bodysuits especially over t-shirts for a nighttime look because they stay tucked in throughout the night. I'm pairing this top with my Levi's ribcage ankle length straight leg jeans. This is a really laid back casual daytime look that you can convert into a nighttime look. I'm adding a black western style belt with gold hardware details just to add more of a gold touch that makes for a very luxurious and elevates the outfit in general. I'm a big fan of espadrilles for summer so I'm pairing this outfit with espadrilles that actually casually elevates this outfit and they are super comfortable to wear. These ones are from Castagna. Since I'm wearing a deeper neck top and I'm also wearing a dainty necklace, I went with gold hoop earrings that actually dress up this casual look. I usually never leave the house without a jacket so I'm adding a powdered blue leather jacket that gives this outfit a casual yet chic summery vibe. And for my bag, I'm just carrying a black pouch bag from Bottega Veneta. Outfit, I'm wearing this ankle length t-shirt dress from Free People which is black in color which is a perfect color for date night look. Now this dress is really comfortable so if it's available I'll link it below. I'm adding a contrasting belt that gives it more of a luxurious detail as well as it creates a waistline. If you have a straight figure like me this is a must-have step for you. I'm wearing these strappy sandals from Skirts, one of my favorite and really comfortable sandals for being stilettos. Now this adds a nighttime vibe to this entire look. I'm adding a pale yellow blazer from Club Monaco I bought it last year. This is one of my favorite and it adds a contrasting touch to this outfit. Blazers are a must have for spring summer for me. Because this dress is so plain, I'm adding a layered necklace which adds a gold detail and elevates this outfit. To complete this look, I'm using again my black mini Bottega Veneta pouch. perfect for brunch dates or even brunch hangouts with your girlfriends. I'm wearing a plain powder blue crew neck t-shirt from Gap and pairing it with my A Goldie crisscross long shorts. These shorts are my absolute favorite. Since it's a very casual look, I'm adding more layered necklaces to give it more of an elevated look. 
This is a great way to elevate any of your casual outfits. These woven sandals are from Michael Kors and have become my new favorite. They actually elevate this extremely casual look and bring in a bit of a feminine touch to this entire outfit. As I put together this outfit, I realized that I could create a really easy monochromatic outfit with everything in blue. So I paired it with this blue linen blazer from Mango. This is one of my new purchases and I absolutely love it. To complete this monochromatic look, I'm adding my Chloe test bag, which is beige in color, but it has got that powder blue front flap. This next look is perfect for after work drinks. I'm wearing this padded shoulder t-shirt from Frankie Shop. It's like a pastel yellow color. I absolutely love it. And I'm adding a chunky necklace because this t-shirt is really plain. And I'm adding these white leg jeans from Ann Taylor, which are so jet black that they actually look like trousers. I found something similar at Loft and I've linked it down below. Since I thought of a business casual look with this outfit, I paired it with these platform sandals from C by Chloe, one of the most comfortable platform sandals I've ever worn. I'm adding a black blazer with gold buttons. This is kind of a suit style that I'm giving to this entire outfit. So you can actually wear this look to work and also take it to drinks. And I'm pairing it with my black LV Pushematas, which is a crossbody bag. Next casual date night look, I'm wearing this puff sleeve t-shirt which is crew neck as well from Ann Taylor. This has got blue leafy pattern. This is a casual yet bohemian style. So I'm pairing it with my favorite denim midi skirt from Free People. I've been wearing this skirt for the past two years and I still love it so much. Since this top is already printed, I'm skipping necklace and I'm just going with these medallion earrings. And I'm adding my platform sandals from C by Chloe again. I feel like platform sandals and denim skirt bring in that retro vibe to any look. Since I never leave the house without a jacket, I am adding my mango blue linen blazer, but this is absolutely optional. And to complete this cohesive look, I'm again pairing my Chloe test bag, which has that powder blue touch in it. <music> This is another denim shorts outfit. I'm wearing these Bermuda shorts from End of the Story. These are from last year. They have a new version which I will link below and I'm pairing these shorts with these padded shoulder t-shirt from Mango which is black in color. Since this t-shirt is black, you can also wear it for nighttime events as well. To complete this look, I paired in a chunky gold necklace to add some details. And to create more of a cohesive look with black, I went with my Castania Espadrille wedges to complete this look. For my third piece, I went with a pop of color, so I added this pink blazer from CC, and I also matched the blazer with a pink bag with my pink small crossbody bag from Givenchy. This look is more of a summer bohemian look so I'm going with my favorite jeans of 2020. These slouchy jeans are from Mango and I'm pairing them with this peasant style smock neck top or blouse from Ann Taylor. It has got floral prints which is yellow, red and black. 
To elevate this slouchy jeans look and give it more of a bohemian vibe, I'm wearing this Tong Slides from Mango again. This was a last year purchase, but I'll try to find something similar. And to complete this bohemian look, I'm adding a straw crossbody bag, which is a perfect bohemian touch to this outfit, and this bag is from Miu Miu. this video if you did please don't forget to click that like button to let me know and do let me know which one was your favorite look in this lookbook if you enjoy these kind of style videos I would love to have you in my tiny family so please don't forget to click that subscribe button to join and don't forget to click that bell notification so you will be notified when a new video comes out thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye